Hi and welcome to Themico. During the next couple of videos, we are going to learn about the concept of conservative forces and also the concept of potential energy. We'll learn what they mean and also, in the case of potential energy, we'll also learn how to determine gravitational and elastic potential energy. In this video, however, let's focus on the definition of conservative forces. As we already know, a force is able to move an object from point A to point B by doing some amount of work. Now, if this done work is independent of the path on which the object moves, while its location changes between these two points A and B, then, in this case, we can call the force, which is doing work, a conservative force. Let's go through this once more by looking at the following cases. In the first case, we have a box and we would like to lift it up this way. Recall from the earlier video how the amount of necessary work to lift the box is only dependent on its weight and the vertical displacement, but not the path it takes. We could achieve the same vertical displacement by following different paths and still the amount of necessary work would be the same. Therefore, the weight of the box is conservative force. Another quite typical conservative force is a spring force because of the fact that the done work is only related to the amount of compression or stretching of the spring. Like in the case of lifting the box, we could do this work by following numerous paths, but still, the necessary work would be the same. You may now already see some patterns here. So think about the following question. Is frictional force against a moving object a conservative force or not? No, it is not, because the work that the frictional force is doing to stop the object from moving is clearly dependent on the path. The longer the path the object moves, the greater the work the frictional force must do during the object's movement. Thus, it's non-conservative. Hopefully, after watching this video, you have learned the definition of conservative forces. In the next video, we'll continue to discuss about potential energy. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.